In this video, I will be going over the forum section on our website, how to view the different topics and post your own content. First of all, there are a couple ways to get to the forums. Number one, you can hover over the forums menu link at the top, which will drop down all our main public forums. Or number two, you can simply click on the forums in the menu, which will take you to the forums directory where you can open the form of your choice. In the forum directory, the first forum is our rules and netiquette post, which have important guidelines for posting and replying. The directory shows all forum topics available. If you would like to create a new forum, please message BCD from the members list and he will create it for you. We have a separate video about this feature if you get stuck. Under the forum topic cards, you will find a feed showing all the discussions that have been created and in which forum these discussions are in. If you find any discussions of interest, you can click on the title to read and respond to that post or click on the forum name at the right to enter that forum to see all the discussions inside. Additionally, in the forum directory, Along with main public forums, we also have all our private forums. These are designated with the word private before the forum title. These private forums are part of our private classrooms, which are connected to our courses that are available for free to paid members or can be purchased individually by free members. Anyone with access to a course is automatically joined into that corresponding classroom and private forum. Please note that we have public forums that are very similar in title to our private forums, but I want to point out their differences. For example, we have a public forum called Money Matters in Thailand, and also a private forum called Finances, Taxes, and Money Matters while living abroad. The private forum is for posting questions and comments by those taking the corresponding course. These questions are answered by the instructor. I'm logged in as a free member who hasn't purchased this course, so I am not joined into this group and can't interact. The public forum is for general questions on the topic and are not answered by the course instructor. So if you are a paid member, we encourage you to engage in the private forum rather than the public one. Free members are welcome to upgrade their membership to get free access to all the private forums, groups, and courses where you get personalized help from the course instructor. Free members can also choose to buy individual courses of interest and get access to that private forum. Several of our public forums have subforums. For example, when opening up the sports forum, you will see several subforums or subtopics to choose from. If we open the tennis subforum, you will see yet other subforums. Let's click on Awesome Tennis Matches. Within a forum or some forum topic is where you can engage in all the discussions in that topic as seen here. In our Tennis Forum subforum Awesome Tennis Matches, we have several discussions that have been created. When you click on a discussion, you may see a video, image, or just text. If you want to start your own discussion or interact in someone else's, Click the Join Group button under the forum header. You can now see that you are a member of this forum and can reply to the member who has posted this discussion. If you want to comment a reply to the member who started the discussion, click on Reply. In the pop-up form, you can reply in the form of text, video, document, animated GIF, and or emoji. The tags area is for typing in search tags such as Agassi, Sampras, or other words that relate to the discussion. This makes it easier for others to find if they are searching for the same topics. Click on the checkbox next to Notify Me if you want to receive emails every time someone else responds to this discussion. This is a great way to keep in the loop on this topic. You can also click Subscribe if you want to receive notices when anyone engages in this topic. These notices will appear beside your profile image at the top of the webpage. Additionally, you can click this star icon at the top of Discussions. This adds the discussion into your Favorites folder in your social account. 
You can access all your favorites by going to your timeline from the username at the top, clicking on Forms, then My Favorites. If you see a discussion that you believe violates our rules, please click the three dots here and report the discussion to us. We will review the contents and remove it if necessary. To start a discussion in a forum, first make sure you join in that group. In this sample, Jocelyn is going to join the forum Inspirations. When you join a forum, you will see the Subscribe and New Discussion buttons appear. Click on New Discussion. In the pop-up, type in a title for your post. Make sure that your subject matter goes with the forum topic. Your title should describe what the body of the post is about. In this sample, my post is an old Irish blessing that I think is uplifting and goes well in this forum. So I'll type in Irish blessing as my title. In the body of the post, I can type in the content, add an image, find an animated GIF, or embed a YouTube video. To embed a YouTube video in a post, go to YouTube, find the video that you'd like to embed, click on Share underneath the video, click Copy to copy the video link, go back to your post, place your cursor in the body of the post, and hit Control V to paste the video link into the post, and then hit Post. And as you can see, you have an embedded video in your post. I'm going to add an image in this case, so click on the photo icon. To upload images, you can either click on the blue area to navigate to where your images are, or simply drag them from your desktop, for example, into the blue area. The interface will indicate that the image is uploading by the circle in the middle of the thumbnail. When complete, the circle will disappear. You can upload up to 20 images per post and they can be up to 2 megabytes in size each. If you want to control the sequence in which the photos appear, bring in one photo at a time. The first photo would appear first and so forth. If you don't care about what order they appear in, just select them all and import them all at once. If you add any typed content to the post, you can add emojis. Also, please note that you cannot add more than one type of media in your post. If I import an image, as I did in this sample, I cannot also embed a video or document. When you're done with the body of the post, as mentioned earlier, you can click the Notify Me box to get email notifications when someone reacts to your post. You can also add tags in this area to help others find your content. I will add Irish and Blessing, each separated by a comma, to add them in. After you're done composing, click on the Post button and your post will appear. There are a couple ways to find all your discussions or posts and discussion replies in one place. The first way is going to your timeline from your user drop-down menu. Note that this menu would drop down from your user avatar on mobile devices. So, on your timeline for this member, you can see her recent Irish Blessing posts and all other interactions throughout this community. For example, she posted in the Pets and Vets forum, replied to a post in the Awesome Tennis Matches forum, and posted something for sale in our marketplace. Another place to find your interactions is in your dashboard, which is also found under your user dropdown. Here you will see the discussions you started, as well as the most recent contributions from the community. So this completes our video about forums. Thanks for watching and enjoy the community.